Trip to Vietnam, where the North Korean leader is scheduled to have a private dinner and meeting with Donald Trump on Wednesday. Kim will meet the U.S. president for a brief one-on-one -on -one conversation, followed by a social dinner, at which they will each be accompanied by two guests and interpreters, White House spokeswoman Sarah Sanders said. Their meeting comes eight months after the historic summit in Singapore, the first between a sitting U.S. president and a North Korean leader, which failed to produce concrete results on a path to denuclearization. Kim arrived on Tuesday at the station in the Vietnamese town of Dong Dang after crossing into China on Saturday thousands of kilometers further north at the city of Dandong. Vietnamese officials were on hand to receive him at the station with a red carpet and guard of honor, with North Korean and Vietnamese flags flying. Kim was seen leaving the train in Dong Dang and getting into a Mercedes-Benz for the 170 kilometers, 105 mile journey to the capital, Hanoi. He waved to young people lining the street as the car set off, flanked by about a dozen bodyguards running alongside. There is no real expectation the second meeting will bring a final deal on ridding North Korea of nuclear weapons that threaten the U.S., but there are some hopes it could lead to a declaration that the 1950-53 Korean War is at last formally over. The world leaders will be joined U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who also arrived on Tuesday morning. Trump and Kim will then hold a series of official meetings on Thursday. Trump, who lands in Vietnam late on Tuesday, will have meetings with the host country's president and prime minister on Wednesday before seeing Kim. Before leaving Washington on Monday, Trump tweeted that he was looking forward to a very productive summit.